guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So today's video, I have been so excited to film for you guys because it is the beginning of a new era slash a new series and it's called, as you can see from the title below, Full Face Fridays. So basically every Friday, I'm gonna be uploading a full face of one brand. The main goal of this series is to see how many brands that I can create a full face of perfection with, okay? And I'm hoping along the way that I can find some new gems to add into my makeup routine. But you guys already know, if a product is not worth your coin, I will forever be honest with you guys and let you know that it is not it, okay? <laughs> and today's video is completely unsponsored. I felt like it was only right to start off with e.l.f. Cosmetics because the way I have been reaching for so many of their products in my everyday makeup routine, even when I'm filming for you guys, I feel like lately I've just been adding more and more e.l.f. products into my rotation. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, e.l.f. continues to drop new heat every 2.5 seconds, okay? So I'm glad that we're gonna have a lot of products to try today. So with that being said, make sure you guys go ahead and get comfortable, grab your matcha sis, and let's get to it. So you guys already know the drill. We're gonna start off with our eyes first and I'm gonna be going in with this palette. It's just a cute little matte palette and I think this would be perfect for travel because of how itsy bitsy it is. And this is their I Love You Latte palette. Now I'm not really that familiar with e.l.f.'s eyeshadows. I'm really mainly into their complexion products and their lippies. So I'm excited to see how this performs, how it blends, all of that good stuff. And to start it off, I'm gonna go in with this transition shade right over here. Please be pigmented.com. Please be pigmented.com. Okay, so. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see, like, I was blending that out and I'm getting no color payoff, which I'm really sad about because I really thought I had two good transition shades in this palette. I'm only gonna be able to use this dark brown. Don't mind the mess already, guys. I just tapped off the access <laughs> right over here. But it's giving I'm only gonna be able to use this dark brown as our transition color, which is very disappointing. But I'm just gonna go ahead with some of that instead. It is blending really nice. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's not giving what I envisioned in my head. I just wish one of the shades could be a transition color on my skin tone though. It's giving not compatible for my complexion if I can only have one shade in the crease and then it has to be like a really bold shade as well. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna try to make it work though. Now this eyeshadow stick, I've been seeing so many people rave about as being the perfect inner corner highlight. So I'm really hoping that this one helps bring the look to life. But also I really wanna use it as like a shimmer shade on the lid because I really don't want to do just like a matte eyeshadow look. That's not the vibes I had envisioned today. I need a little shimmer on the lids because I want to definitely go in with a dewy base. So I don't want to do matte eyes and a dewy base. You get me? So I'm just going to go ahead and start to apply that on. And hopefully this is giving pigment. Okay, maybe it's not a drawing on vibe. Maybe it's a apply on the hand. Oh no. Okay, yeah, so that's... <laughs> Why is this eye look in shambles already? Scratch that, guys. We're gonna be doing matte eyes, okay? I am backtracking real quick. We're gonna be doing matte eyes because that gave absolutely nothing. So to save the little mess of a situation that we got going on, I'm gonna go in with my eyeshadow base just to give us a nice blank canvas to pack on a matte shade. So as you can see, the shadows have been completely snatched off. And honestly, guys, I just felt like it wasn't workable. The shades, I felt like just were not complimentary on my skin tone. I feel like if you're my skin tone or deeper, this palette is not gonna do anything for you because it just doesn't show up. Like this shade, for example, I really wanted to use as my transition color. You guys saw it, it gave nothing. I just was not enjoying it. And honestly, that's very surprising for me because I've been loving so many e.l.f. products. So I was expecting to really like this shadow because to me, e.l.f. is just killing it right now. But hey, that's the whole point of today's video guys, complete transparency. Some products might work and some products may not work. And even this eyeshadow stick, it's gone so viral on TikTok. So I had such high expectations for it, especially because of the fact that people were raving about it as the perfect inner corner highlight. And I don't really dive into inner corner highlights like that, to be honest, because I have very sensitive watery eyes that are extremely disrespectful. And every time I apply something in my inner corner, it just wants to let out the waterworks. And I try to avoid it at all costs. I don't try to trigger it, okay? But when I saw so many people use 
using this, I was like, you know what? Maybe I can make this work. And maybe this could be like my go-to product to, you know, just zhuzh up my look. But no, I even tried to apply it on my hands thinking that maybe I need to warm up the product. No, I went ahead and just did the restart button and went back to just having plain concealer on my lids. We kind of had a shaky start, but we're going to dive into the base and hopefully everything will come together. Okay. So first we're going to start off with some primer and I'm going to be taking this liquid poreless putty primer. I feel like this primer gives a very much airbrushed finish. I've tried it before. It works great on the skin. So I know I'm not going to be let down. So I'm just going to go ahead with some of that. All right, and we are all primed. I feel like it just gave my skin like the softest feel. I absolutely love this primer. So now we're gonna go ahead and color correct before we go in with the rest of our base makeup. You guys know color correcting is key because you wanna cancel out any of that hyperpigmentation, your dark circles, and just give your base that even flawless canvas for your makeup to just look like chef's kiss, okay? And I'm gonna be trying this color corrector for the first time. And this is the Putty Color Correcting Eye Brightener. And I have the shade Tan Deep. And that's what it looks like blended out guys. And why do I actually love it? I love the glow that it gave the under eye. And I really do feel like it did brighten it up. Like when I'm looking at my viewfinder, my under eyes look a lot brighter. I am not mad at it at all. So now we're gonna go ahead and color correct around our mouth, but I'm gonna have to use another color corrector because like I said, this one is just an eye brightener. So to cancel out a little bit of that hyperpigmentation on my chin and around my mouth area, I'm actually gonna be taking these two shades in their color correctors. This is the camo color corrector. And I have the shades peach and orange. I feel like the peach shade looks really really light So that's why I feel like I'm gonna have to mix in a little bit of orange to create like, you know The perfect color corrector for my skin tone. So I'm gonna go ahead and try some of that now So I'm actually gonna take a brush and just blend out this peach shade just to see if it works on its own Yeah, we're definitely gonna need a little bit of that orange shade to balance that out Okay, yeah, blending the two shades together was a lot better because peach alone was not the right shade for me. I'll let you guys decide if it's worth mixing two shades. I just really wish there was a shade in between these two that would be perfect. So now we're gonna be going in with my favorite, favorite product from e.l.f. Like, I am so obsessed with this formula. You guys don't even understand, okay? And that is the Halo Glow Liquid Filter. When I tell you this is just like liquid gold in a bottle, e.l.f. really did that when they launched this product right here, okay? Okay, like this is literally my perfect, perfect shade. And that is shade number five, medium tan. Now I have gotten a little lighter because you know, it's winter season, so it happens. So I actually have to start mixing in a little bit of shade number four, which is just medium. But when it starts to hit spring and summer, I'll be back to this shade all on its own. But guys, when I tell you, when I wear this product out, a lot of the times when I go to brand events or if I'm just going out with my friends, I get the most compliments on this product right here because the way it just has my skin looking so glowy it gives a beautiful finish i honestly feel like a lot of the times i don't have to go in with anything else on my base but this and it gives a nice skin-like finish my base is glowy it's hydrated you know what let me just stop talking about it and apply it so you guys can see it for yourself okay so i'm just gonna go ahead with a swatch of shade five and of course a swatch of shade four so, so that the shade is even all over our face All right guys, and this is what it looks like all blended out. I did get a little bit of a stain. <laughs> on my hijab during the blending process for the first time in ages. Normally I'm pretty good with keeping my hijabs unstained, but you know, it was inevitable, okay? It was inevitable. <laughs> so next we're going in with some bronzer and I'm taking this putty bronzer in the shade Bronzed Bell. Now, if you follow me on TikTok and Instagram, you've seen me use this bronzer a lot of times. I absolutely love it. The way it blends into the skin. Honestly, all of the complexion products from e.l.f. so far that I've tried, chef's kiss, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead with some of this so you guys can really just see how amazing this bronzer is. And now that we're all bronzed up, it's time for blush. And when I tell you guys, I am so excited to be trying these blushes for the first time. I'm sure you guys have seen it all over TikTok, but this is the Camel Liquid Blush. I have the shade Gorge Orange, and I heard these are supposed to be like a really good dupe to the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. So I'm excited to see how it performs. I'm gonna go in with a small amount and blend on one side first, just to prepare myself because I heard they're also pigmented.com. And I don't know if it dries down really fast because the last thing you wanna 
to do with certain liquid or cream products they dry down really fast and by the time you go ahead and blend out that other dot on the other side of your face you just have a random dot that's dried down and you cannot blend it out for the life of you okay <laughs> Okay, that's really pretty, but I think I'm gonna pack on a little more. How pretty of a shade is that? Now, the one thing that I shouldn't have done is when I said I'm gonna go in with a little more, I really should have gone in with just one extra dot instead of more dots because the pigment is real, all right? I already know I'm gonna be using this a lot because excuse me, Elf, you really did that. And now I cannot wait to try the other shades. But in the meantime, we're gonna go in with concealer and this is gonna be my first time trying this concealer as well. This is their Hydrating Camo Concealer. It's a satin finish. I'm gonna go in with the shade Medium Beige. I really hope it's gonna be a good shade for us today. Yeah, yeah, that's a really nice shade. Thank God. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead with some of that. Okay guys, so I didn't want to give you my actual thoughts on the concealer until I set it with a powder because I heard so many mixed reviews and I didn't have a translucent powder from e.l.f. or a highlighter from e.l.f. But I'll make sure to link everything that I used off camera in the description box below. So don't worry, everything will be listed there for you, okay? So I wanted to zoom you guys in a little closer so you can see what I'm talking about. I feel like it's already creasing in the inner corner. So I'm not sure. I'm 50-50 on the concealer. I think I want to give this concealer another try in another video and, and update you guys on it then. Next, I'm gonna go ahead with some mascara and this is the elf lash extender this will be my first time trying this mascara as well but there is a mascara that i tried from elf before that i did really love and i think it's called big mood mascara it's amazing i actually really really love that mascara but since i got sent this recently i wanted to give it a try as well so just by looking at this mascara, I feel like I prefer the Big Mood Mascara 100%. If there's an e.l.f. mascara that you want to try, I would lean towards that. I feel like this one would be maybe a good, you know, bottom lash mascara because of the applicator. It's so nice and thin, so you can just get in there and apply a good amount. I'm going to go ahead and quickly plop on my lashes, and I'll be right back, and we can finish off this look with our lip combo. All right, guys, and lashes are on. It took me 25 years to get them on, guys, because all of a sudden, my inner corner wants to be disrespectful and start walking watering remember when i told you guys i have sensitive eyes.com well this this is a sign of that okay, we definitely lost some concealer in the inner corner it's not giving as bright as the other eye but at least it stopped watering so i'm gonna finish this lip combo real quick before my eye completely gives up on me okay so i'm gonna start off with a lip liner of course and this is my first time trying their cream glide lip liner And for our lipstick, I really want to go in with a pop of color, go in with a red lip moment because I haven't done that in so long. And I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. lipstick, of course, in the shade Do Not Disturb. If you're looking for a very affordable pigmented dot-com lipstick, this is the one for you, okay? So I'm going to go ahead with some of that now. And I'm gonna go in a little bit with another shade called No Regrets. In the center, it's a little bit of a brighter red. And that is the lip. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But major shout out to my mom for encouraging me to do a red lip today because I haven't done one in so long. Especially like a nice, rich, darker red lip. I just think it's so pretty. It really brings a more simplistic look to life. So shout out to you, Hoya, because I am obsessed. I think it's so pretty. And this is my reminder and note to self to do a red lip more often. And yeah, that brings me to the end of today's makeup look and our first full face Friday. Let me see my quick thoughts on everything before before my eyes start watering again. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the main things that I didn't enjoy, as you guys know, was the eyeshadow and the cream shadow that wasn't for me. The concealer, I'm 50-50 on. I really feel like everything else I'm obsessed with. Lip combo, blush, bronzer, the halo glow. Everything turned out to be so perfect. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know, are you guys excited for this series? Because I cannot wait to see you guys next Friday for our next Full Face Friday brand. It's gonna be a vibe. But feel free to let me know what brands you guys would like me to try in the comment section below but if you made it all the way to the end thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to elf for sending me all these amazing products i found so many new faves that i cannot wait to add into my makeup rotation if you enjoyed this video make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up also come say hi in the comments even if you don't have any brand suggestions or anything because you know i love talking to you guys and like always i'll see you guys in my next video mm -hmm.